M0FXB Yesu FTX1 and the Icon 7100. Let's have a little listen round. So we're going to turn up HF on the FTX. Remember, it's dual band this one, so we can actually listen on our, our local repeater at the same time, even if it's C4FM. As you can see, I'll just turn that one down. So we're just listening to the FTX at the moment. It's not busy, as you can see. Uh, so there's no built-in tuner in e either of these. You have to add them on. Um, and, of course, this one's 100 watt. This one, the FTX, to be 100 watt, you need to add the Optima at the back, and it'd be a lot bigger than the, the footprint of the 7100 with the rear unit. And you cannot separate the front head from the rear unit on the 7100 where you can on the new FTX one. So let's have a little tune round. What's bad, isn't it? Of course, 3DS as well. GPS, both of these. Wow. This is typical, isn't it? Let's find, let's see if we can find someone. Got a really weak station here. Let's do it. And you can change the display types with the DISP button here as well. That is just weak. Two antenna connectors on the back of this one. The SP100 has three antenna connectors, two for HF. Large VFO or small VFO changing knob. That's rubbish, and let's just um, let's turn up the seven one hundred. Now you don't really have a color scope, and obviously it's black and white. Turn the seven one hundred down. I wouldn't say there's anything in it. Both very weak. So let's um, tune on the 7100. Another weak one there. Turn it down, turn up there. I should tell you the antenna, the G5RV is on the FTX1 and on, no, actually get it right. The G5RV is on the 7100 and the 49 to one Ballon with 66 foot length of wire is on the, on the new FTX. Oh, it's typical, isn't it? As soon as I decide to do this. The 7100 is doing really well, isn't it? You can just hear it there. Quite hard to hear that. But you do have your filters to play with. To try and, you know, bring that in. Let's keep going. Turn that down a minute. Okay. You have got DNR. Let's find it. Where's it gone? Right? There, there it is. There. Is that correct? Completely got that wrong. Two echoes. 
Can we help? Seven one hundred. You've got noise reduction, and then you can hold down for the level. We'll wait for Chris to speak. It's both very weak. Okay, let's keep going. Alpha Victor Echo, uh -huh. located at Crossnose Public Station on the south bank of the River Thames, just east of London, N0ZGY from QB2CM. Thank you, Jay. You're also a part of the South Bank. Slightly off frequency, I think, but maybe not. Three DS. Oh, okay. Cheers. Yeah, thank you, Have a nice day. Have a if I go to Jewel, turn up yeah, FI. Jewel, complete Jewel receipt. I think having the radio so close together is not a good, a good thing. Did you see that? Um, so we'll keep it here. Both doing great. I hope it goes well for you. It's a lovely day here, about 23 of the So many have messaged me and said, look, I've got a 7100. It works great. It's a shack in the box. It's very portable. Uh, I can plug the microphone into the head unit here. Um, the FTX1, it's a, you know, it's a big brick. Well, not a bit like the 705, but it's dual receive. Uh, but, you know, it's, everyone has a different way and a different preference to radio. So, I cannot say that one is better than the other. That's impossible to say. The 7100 has its functions. It's a D-Star radio, DPRS. The FTX1 is basically a super FT710, isn't it? It's got VHF, UHF in the UK, four meters. The, the way that they've done this thing where you can add on the 100 watt unit at the back, the Optima SPA1, I think was a, an afterthought, but they've done it and they've done a, a nice job of it. And now you've got, you know, two... It's almost like three radios in one because you've got 
completely two independent receivers there. I don't know how the architecture of the software is, but in in real time use, you've got VHF, UHF, and right. C4FM. Oh, John, I've got to, uh, get away at the get same time, you time. know, um, it's there, it, it works. Uh, and you can do all your digi modes. Uh, so it's going to be a bigger, heavier unit. They've got front-facing speaker here. The speaker on, as you heard, is on the 700, though it's at the back, I believe. Yeah, it's at the back. I see it there. It's really good. Um, so, yeah, very, very hard to choose. There's some amazing shack in the boxes, but otherwise, you go back in time, you're going back to the 817857897, which I will be testing uh, with this radio. Not testing, more just for fun, just showing. Uh, thanks for watching my YouTube channel, though you get the idea. And uh, let me know, are you going to sell your 7100 to get this, or would you just um, prefer just to get them both, or not bother at all, it's too much money? You might say a lot of people have said that, and I, my answer is, it's the right money for what it does and for how much hardware, software. And you've got to remember that there is a cost for building the firmware. Building the firmware isn't free, it costs the company a lot of money and to build the firmware and then the hardware and it, it's, it puts the price up that's what happened with the 705 it came out shack in the box qrp wi-fi bluetooth and all that but it it put the price up and that unit is very small brick as well thanks for watching please hit the like subscribe 73 i'm sure i've missed loads but they're both yeah once you get your head around them you can add your repeater memories your hf memories. you can tweak things so you can use Winlink, WSJ checks, all your favourite things and so much more. One of these will keep you busy forever. Bye for now, 73.